Hi everyone, so today we're going to be using an Arduino Nano to be changing the colors of a NeoPixel LED strip. It's going to be super simple as most of the code will be provided. You're going to just change a few variables to get the desired effect that you're looking for. The software that we're going to be using is in the Microsoft Store and it is called Arduino IDE. I recommend downloading it from here as it's a safe and reliable source. And then we're going to be using a driver called Adafruit NeoPixel, as I will show you how to install that in the program. On the hardware side, we're going to be using an Arduino Nano, and we're going to be using a NeoPixel LED. Once you've finished downloading and installing the Arduino IDE, please go to the Tool tab and then go to Manage Libraries. The Manage Libraries box will pop up, and in the search column, we're going to type in add a fruit, then Neo Pixel. With the add a fruit Neo Pixel open, we're going to just look for add a fruit Neo Pixel. This is the free code that is provided with the software, and we're not going to have to program anything from here on. Once that is finished installing, I would like you to go to the top left corner and click on File and Examples. Over here, you'll see a whole variety of examples to use with your Arduino. It's a lot of fun and you can spend a lot of time researching and seeing how each of these ones work. I would like you to scroll down all the way to the bottom that says Adafruit NeoPixels. Over here, there will just be designated code for the NeoPixel. So once your NeoPixel is connected to your Arduino, all of these codes should work on it. I would like you to go down to a simple code. Once you have opened up the simple code, you'll realize that there is a lot of comments followed after two forward slashes. These are comments to help you read and understand what is happening in the code. For me, I kind of know what's happening in this code, so I'm going to remove all of these comments with the forward slashes and then followed by you'll realize that this code becomes much easier to read once all of it has been removed. But if you like it there and you want to have a friendly reminder on what things do, please leave it there. There we have it. I have removed all of the comments. And as you can see, it's not a lot of code. Like it's something that we can see and manage and it might look like gibberish. <laughs> but once I explain what each thing is for, it's gonna make it a lot easier. Ideally, I would like you to go to Tools. I would make sure that you can choose your board. So I'm going to be using an Arduino Nano. You're more than welcome to be using any other Arduino. Just make sure that you have selected the correct board that you have. Then I'm going to go with the old boot logger. I find it very reliable and it mostly works with a lot of things. Then the port. Please make sure your board is connected to your computer at this point. If your board is not connected to your computer, you won't see any COM ports show up. Please click on the port and click on COM4 or COM3 or COM2. The COM part is just what USB you have plugged in into your computer. So don't worry if it's a little different to mine. Once you have selected your board and you have selected your bootloader and your ports, it's pretty straightforward from here. While your computer is connected to your Arduino, I would like you to connect your LED strip to your Arduino. It's very simple. All you need to do is take the V5, which is five volts from your LED strip and connect it to the little symbol on the Arduino saying V5. I would also like you to connect the ground, which is GND to the ground on the board. Then the middle pin is the data pin. That one, I would like you to connect to D6 on your board. The board numbers are very important. So if you have not connected the D6 pin to the data pin on your LED strip, it will not work. Once everything has been connected to your Arduino Nano, we may proceed. So first things first, you do not need to be aware of the first part. That is just the standard protocol of trying to boot up your library and trying to boot up your Arduino Nano. You don't have to worry or change anything to that. Now, there's this thing called pin six. 
This is the D6 pin on your Arduino Nano. If you have connected your cable to a D5, D4, D3, change this number accordingly, but the default is D6. Then, the number of pixels. This is the number of LEDs you have on your LED strip. I have 122, so I have typed in 122. If you have 5 or 15 or 500, please allocate it over here. Cool, now this is the fun part. We're gonna just change two variables and then we're sorted. We're gonna just make sure that the pin is called pin six, all right? This is the LED strip connected to D6 on the board. Then the number of pixels on my LED strip. I have 122, you might have 60, you might have 12. Just change so that all your LED lights light up. Now we are done. I would like you to click this tick on the corner and this is going to compile your code. It might ask you if you want to save your code, click yes. Now that your code is saved and it is done compiling, I would like you to click this arrow. This arrow will now upload the code to your Arduino Nano and your lights will start changing color. So it is now changing green very slowly, but it is turning green. And that's the easy part about this. Now I'm going to be showing you how to change the color so that you can choose whatever color you would like. This part of the code over here is responsible for changing the colors to each pixel. So we work with RGB because this is an LED light. So this first var variable represents R, which is red. The middle one represents green and the last one represents blue. So the max that I would type in here is 225. That is the, the, the color code, all right, and the brightness. I wouldn't go any brighter than 225. You have a high risk of burning out your LEDs if you go with a higher variable. So if I wanted a red LED, I would just want to give a red number. So I want it to go 225 and I want no green. I just want red. And then we're going to hit compile in the top left corner. And then we're going to click the arrow to send it to the board. So there we have it. It is now turning red. It is really simple to use as all you need to remember is the first part is red the middle part is green, and the third part is blue. I would like to show you a cool and easy way to get the exact color you're looking for, as trying to program your LED strips might be a bit challenging if you don't know exactly what number to give each one. Over here is an RGB color picker from Google. All you need to do is click, and once you have chosen the color that you most likely want, in the bottom corner here, it says RGB. This is the numbers that you're gonna be typing into your code. So if I wanted, for example, uh, a purple, I have been given 121 red, 15 green, and 150 blue. I'm literally gonna copy those variables, go to my code, and put it in right there in the middle. Cool. Once that is sorted, I am going to click compile, no errors, and send the arrow. Now, before you know it, everything's going to be starting to turn purple. Isn't that cool? So what happens now if we have like 500 LEDs? It's taking a very long time to change color for every single one of them. I am going to make sure that it happens super quickly. I'm going to go to this variable here called delay variable. I'm going to change the 500 milliseconds to zero milliseconds. I'm going to click compile and then I'm going to send it to the board. Now that you've sent your code, you have realized that it's, it's strobing. It's like flashing a lot. Now, what we're going to be doing is we want it to stay that color. We don't want the LEDs to turn off. We want it to keep that particular color. We're going to click over here and we're going to do forward slash forward slash. 
or you could remove this code completely. All right, this pixels.clear bracket. Now it's going to remember what its last code was. It's not going to clear it. So if I compile it, no problems, and send it, it just stays purple. Let's say if I want to make it red. All right, let's go 225 and 00. zero. Compile, send. You'll see that the code, once it's sent, turns it immediately red. And it will stay like that. So, just to recap, your data pin on your board is D6, which is connected to your LED strip. Make sure that your pin is number six. The number of pixels is the number of pixels that you have connected to it, which I have 122. You might have something different. If all your LED strips aren't lighting up, please make sure to increase this variable. Your delay, all right? If you want it to slowly change, increase this number. If you want it to instantly change, add zero. All right, there's a thing over here called pixels.clear. If you want to do, use the pixels.clear to turn all of your LED lights off, you can. If you want it to stay a constant color throughout, remove it. Then to change your LED color, please change the red, blue, red, green, or blue variable. And there you have it. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys have any questions, please pop a comment down below or any ideas of cool animations you would like to learn. I would like to help you with that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.